traditionally we ran a machine shop here at Beaver Bay. And uh, just in the last, this is our second uh, year running the welding course and it's going very, very well uh, with uh, dual credit with the college. So while these uh, young people are here taking the welding, they're actually getting a college course too. So they get one credit for college and one for high school. Natasha, who's teaching the dual credit, is a former student here. So she's actually back, she's probably 10 years experience uh, as a welder now. And uh, she's doing a fantastic job. I, I'm very pleased with it. Uh, the whole course is going very well. And what we hope is that some of these students will choose a career in welding. Uh, you know, it's a good job, it pays well, it's a viable career for their future. Well, there's of course private, uh, uh, private ownership. We have a few, you know, welding, fabricating type shops. And then, uh, such as Natasha, she was a steel worker. So she did a lot of uh, industrial buildings, big steels, uh, high rises, and and so she worked more in the mostly in the cities, of course. But it also pays very well. And then, of course, there's pipeline welding. Uh, a lot of folks moved to the west to do some pipeline welding, and then there's mobile welding, which is you know encompassed by all welding. But if you were to say purchase your own truck and mobile welder. Now you're a mobile welder and you can move around anywhere you want. And there seems to be a lot of work for mobile welders.